Okay, let's take it the third key to good and easy pool care. The third key to pool care is cleaning. Cleaning is cleaning. We have to do it in our homes, we have to clean our cars, we have to clean our, our, our offices or workplaces. And the same thing goes as far as your swimming pool. You want to keep it clean. When you keep it clean, you minimize problems like algae or cloudy water, things that just disrupt the whole, the whole enjoyment of owning and having a pool. Most people think that, that cleaning begins and ends with, with vacuuming. Unfortunately, that can't be any, any further from the truth. There are a couple ways you can vacuum. One is to use a traditional vacuum head on a pole with your hose and vacuum the pool. There are two good things when you do it that way. You do vacuum the pool, but you're also brushing the pool surfaces. Brushing the pool surfaces is like flossing, and we're going to talk about that in just a minute. The other way you can vacuum the pool is not vacuum the pool. As you can see, our, our, our friendly robot is in there, and he's been doing a good job picking up all the leaves and debris that have fallen into the pool from overnight. The second thing you want to deal with is leaves. A leaf net, just to skim off the top. You don't have to be crazy, but that's what it's there for. If you have a lot of leaves in the pool, then using a leaf rake comes in really handy. Keep in mind that for other cleaning purposes, your skimmer is also cleaning. It's removing from the surface bugs, leaves, larger debris that, that gently float into the pool. It'll remove them. Remember to take the basket out and clean that because if the filter basket gets, gets clogged, you're going to restrict the flow and restrict the circulation and restrict the filtration. As we said earlier, the five keys work synergistically, and that's part of the synergy. Now that we've done those two main cleanings, the one type of cleaning that people always forget and kind of always avoid is brushing. Brushing is a necessary thing to do. The reason why we want to brush is for the same reason why we want to floss our teeth. Brushing gets in and it, and it sweeps everything off of, the, off of the internal pool surfaces. This is a wall whale. This is a mega brush. The cool thing about a, a wall whale is that when you attach it onto your pole, you can literally use one hand and just brush the pool down. The whale tail works like a spoiler on a car. It keeps it hugging the pool wall and the pool bottom so you get the most efficiency, making the fastest time. One of the things that you've probably seen on my, on my chain link fence here are these neat little gadgets. And even though it's not a direct pool cleaning tool, it's a great, these are great things. They just snap right into the, into the uh, chain link fencing and you can hang your pool tools on them. Wonderful, wonderful product. Let's take a look at a couple of the other things that you, that you should have. One product that's really nice that customers are truly enjoying is a Skim More skimmer screen. These are, for, are from BioGuard, and these go on the inside of the skimmer basket. If you have a lot of pollen in the area, these will help to absorb the pollen. It will also help to absorb greases and oils. Uh, it's made out of the same material that they use on on booms to absorb oil spills. As far as the pool itself, what you want to do is from time to time, once or twice a season, just clean the water line of the pool. So whether you have a vinyl liner pool, or a concrete pool, or a tile pool, just by gently cleaning the water line, you help to eliminate areas where bacteria builds up, where just nasty stuff builds up, and that's a good breeding ground for algae and, and excess bacteria. I like using the off-the-wall cleaner because it's a thick, concentrated gel. This tube should last a, a, a normal customer, and I say normal because there are some of you out there who are really finicky and fussy, which isn't a bad thing. This should last you a good couple of seasons. Squirt a little bit on and just go all the way around the surface. 
the great thing that I love about Off the Wall is that it leaves a sheen behind. That sheen being left behind helps to prevent lots of stuff from, from building up. Filter cleaner, about every six weeks, make sure that you chemically clean the filter. You can use a filter cleaner like uh, BioGuard Clean It. It's a spray-on. If you have a DE or cartridge filter, remove the internal parts, spray it with Clean It, let it, let it sit and soak for uh, basically about an hour to two hours, and then hose it off. And it will remove the, the accumulated greases and oils and excess gook that's on the, on the uh, filter itself. Sand filters can also use this by backwashing it in, and, and we'll show you how to clean filters and backwash filters in another video. A couple of other areas. We talked about the, the underground lines before in, in our general circulation portion. Cleaning the, in, the, the underground lines or your hoses if you have an above ground pool is incredibly important. The reason for that is because you build up biofilms inside of that plumbing line. The biofilms set up and provide a base, if you will, or a root for bacteria to grow, for algae to begin. When you eliminate the biofilm, you can also help to eliminate serious pool problems such as white water mold and pink slime. The the most effective product that we have found to remove the biofilms, not only in the lines, but throughout the entire pool system, under uh, ladder treads, in the filter tank, throughout the entire, literally the entire pool system, is a product called Aquafinesse Pool Pucks. Following the instructions, you just drop them into your skimmer. Over the course of about two weeks, uh, you will begin to notice a significant difference in how the pool feels, how it um, how it looks. And you'll also notice that the amount of, of whether you're using chlorine or bromine or salt or any type of sanitizer begins to be decreased. In another video, we'll take a look at biofilms in depth. Another way to help keep the, the pool itself clean is Natural Chemistry Pool Perfect. We love Pool Perfect because it contains natural enzymes, and these are specifically formulated for swimming pools. You pour a little bit in, the natural enzymes eat up greases and oils that come from your body, from hairspray, uh, suntan lotions, uh, stuff drifting in off the, off the air, and eats them right up. One often neglected part and area to clean of your pool is your solar blanket and your winter cover. Even though it's the middle of the summer, we're not going to talk about a winter cover right now, but when you take the cover off, clean the winter cover. It'll prevent it from getting nasty and, and, and sticky. In the summertime, it's, and if you're using a solar blanket, it's a terrific idea to periodically clean the solar blanket. What I mean by, by periodically is about six weeks or so, Take the blanket completely off the pool. Uh, the product that we like best is Natural Chemistry Cover Cleaner. We like Natural Chemistry Cover Cleaner because number one, it contains natural enzymes, and number two, it contains natural acids. You can you can rinse it right onto your yard. It's not going to harm the grass or or, or any um, normal flowering plants. Um, the reason why you want to deal with your solar blanket is if you have a biofilm or, or algae growing underneath the solar blanket, that's going to recontaminate the pool. A problem that we see time and time again are customers in the middle of July to the middle part of August. They come in and say, you know, Ron, we shocked our pool two days ago. We added algicide and it's green again. What's the problem? All the rest of it is good. We do a little bit of questioning, and we find out that the customer is using a solar blanket. They're doing two wrong things. Number one, after they shock the pool, they put the solar blanket right back on. The problem with that is it does not allow the shock to do its proper work, which is to gas everything off. And the other thing it's doing is it's putting a dirty solar blanket right back onto the pool. So if you have algae growing underneath the solar blanket, 
you're going to put all that algae right back in. So that's a, another reason to, to clean that. That's it with, with cleaning. You, again, you don't have to go crazy. Vacuuming a typical pool should take no more than roughly 20 minutes to a half an hour with the largest pools, depending on, on, on how fussy you, you might be, or frankly, how much time you just want to enjoy standing out in the sun and soaking it in. Brushing, five to 10 minutes every week. Your, your leaf skimmer, a couple of minutes. Pool pucks, a se several seconds to just drop into the skimmer. And then your, your other cleaners, which are done periodically. That's cleaning, and that's the third key to good pool care. For more information, visit our website at parpools.com forward slash five keys or parpools.com forward slash pool care.